Hello, I am Anuj Dugal for the Developers Show. This is your weekly update on the coolest developer news from Google. We released the beta of Android for Cars app library version 1.1, bringing the richer navigation, charging, and parking apps to Android Auto users. With this release, we are also completing the transition to Jetpack. If you are a developer using a closed source library until now, we encourage you to migrate to the Android X library at the earliest. And if you wish to get access to the new features early, sign up for the early access program today. The fifth and the final beta update for Android 12 is here. You can try this update on your Pixel device and select devices from partners like Sharp, OnePlus, Xiaomi, Asus, and more. For all the app and game developers in the ecosystem, this update gives you everything you need to complete your final compatibility testing. It is also available for Android TV, so you can check out the latest TV features and test your apps on the all new Google TV experience. Continue sharing feedback through our hot lists for platform issues, app compatibility issues, or third party SDK issues. Check out the Kotlin system processing tool for building lightweight compiler plugins in Kotlin. It is now stable and is up to two times faster than Kotlin annotation processing tool and offers significant performance improvements. What's your game strategy to boost engagement, retention, and monetization for your games? While battle passes gives players more to do, they are also helpful for developers giving strong engagement and commitment to your game. They also improve engagement and sometimes retention to unlock top rewards. Take a look at the best practices from top game developers, including Supercell, Small Giant Games, and Fun Plus, who have successfully integrated a battle pass into their game as one of the primary methods. The Firebase team recently released a number of NDK and Unity features that not only increase the stability of games, it also enables developers using Unreal, Coco Studio, Unity, or any other native game engine to get resolutions quickly. These improvements will hopefully help make identifying crashes easier while continuing to improve game experience. Head over to our NDK and Unity onboarding pages to get started. Check out the blog posts in the description box for all the links to this week's stories. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. I am Anuj Dugal for The Developer Show. Thanks for watching, and we will see you next week. What do you got for us? Yo, yo. Okay.